happen. <laughs> Maybe I'm having a premonition of my trip to Cuba. You never know. Could be, yeah. Um, the description was awesome in, in that poem. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I'm much more into to connotative than denotative. Denotative to me is boring. I like connotative because it conjures, it, mm. it dovetails, it allows you to kind of, you know, it, it, well, you know, with, yeah. conceptual, with conceptual art, you know, yeah. it, it's so important to have the other. And that's a mm. lot of what my poetry is about because I'm not the end. What I, what I try to write is not the poem that the person will read because everybody makes it your own and you interpret the images your own way. And so right. it's very important that that happens. And for me, the best art always has a little bit of ambiguity in it or a lot. And I like yeah. ambiguity and I like things which are sort of things that you have to think about. You know, uh, anyway, this, this <laughs> next poem is called Crossing the Water, and it's a birth poem. And I, hmm. this is another one. I, I've known people who've given birth. I have not personally <laughs> given birth, but, you know, you never know. So, Crossing the Water. A slit is open in the promising bay. It's you, a sunless siren no longer keeping the advice of her pale fishes. The boat of your body enters the deep, its shadow ferried from spirit world. A slap, a cry, day fills with hurried oars. The doctors here are paper lanterns, their guiding lights on the black lake your form shakes from the darkness, crossing the water. Mm. Nice. I just like that one. It has a nice kind of a yeah. quiet, I don't know, I just imagine this, the idea of birth being this crossing, in, in, and I guess in the sort of like the Greek way of, of Thanatos and going crossing the river oh. to go into the underworld. But what would the reverse be like crossing out or coming out of that mm. wherever that is that amorphous mm. soup yeah know. yeah that is the underworld <laughs> yeah so. that's uh uh wonderful descriptions uh, um let's see we have a few more minutes and i'd like to get another one of your poems in okay. but uh what i'd also like to ask you is uh if you could give advice to budding young poets out oh, there absolutely. who need encouragement uh, what would you say to them well, I say keep keep submitting to magazines. Don't be afraid to submit. And you know, like Emily Dickinson, who had when she when she died, they moved her furniture and they found hundreds of rejections behind her furniture, and you know, just wadded up and thrown back there. And you know, I think that you should really have enough rejection slips to wallpaper your entire block. So you know, rejection is okay. You learn from that. And the other thing is that you don't have to worry about your audience. Your audience already exists. Oh. It's just a matter of making that connection so that they can find you. Mm. And um, actually, Richard uh, Saikin told me that, um, the guy who wrote Crush. He's a, he's a buddy of mine. He's a, he's a cool cat. Mm. Anyway, um, and I thought that was really important because, oh, you know, okay. sometimes people are really looking for their group and you okay. don't have to. <laughs> um, this last poem, Got less than two minutes. this last poem is called Twilight and it's very quick and uh, it's a necrophilia poem. Ooh. Hooray! <laughs> Twilight. Just dead. You, a gallery assistant. Still, I oblige your hard lips, forlorn, post-mortem. Would you allow it if I offered redemption, my great calling? I could climb down your body, a black bear on a sycamore, panting, indifferent to this wilderness, the sun won't abide darkness nesting here, your paleness turning like a leaf center. Here's the golden bough of your forearm smelling of sour milk, your arctic palm like the face of Jesus, implausibly free of pain or passing. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. I've never known a gallery assistant who's died, <laughs> but you know, it seemed like a likely story. Oh, wow. I especially like the, uh, the Arctic palm, like the yes. face of Jesus. Yes. Uh, and it has a bad pun in it, too. I say <laughs> sycamore, like sick love. Oh. Uh, yes, necrophilia. I'll have to sycamore. read that one uh, a little yes. bit more closely. <laughs> well, thank you, Andrew, for being on the show. Thank you for having me. My it's pleasure. Been, it's been wonderful. I, I've been very... Uh, Excited all uh, weekend. <laughs> 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 Thank you again. And um, depending on uh, funding at this uh, 
wonderful station at uh, SF Live. I would like to offer you to come back and uh, if the show's still going. I'm J. Everett Winburn. You've been watching Citizen Poets on SF Live on Channel 76. And thank you for joining us, and um, we'll see you again soon.